Today we have our calves loaded in the trailer. This is the first time uh, that they have been loaded in a trailer. And overall it went pretty well. Uh, Dandelion was the first one we attempted to load. And because there was nobody else in the trailer, she was the most reluctant. But by the end, Sunflower was the last one. And she just jumped right in. And so we got them loaded up because we're gonna be going to the vet, which we'll talk more about later. Hi girls. We're just letting them acclimate a little bit to the trailer before we start hurtling it down the highway. You might be able to hear the mamas in the background. They are not happy we took their babies away from them. And here we go. Getting ready to drop down into Chihuahua. Babies are all unloaded here at the vet clinic. Yeah, they don't really know what's going on, so it's probably kind of scary for them. The vet clinic here actually has some pretty nice stock handling facilities. doing the tattoo for the bangs disease bangs vaccine yeah. so there's always a permanent identification Just a vitamin, injectable vitamin. are all done. Stacy's gonna back up the trailer and we're gonna get these girls loaded and go home. I'm going home. All right getting them loaded wasn't as hard as getting them loaded at the barn so Stacy's gonna take off. I drove separately so I could pay the bill and I gotta deliver some milk in town too. Whew, glad that's done. Here we are back at the barn. Calves are back from the vet and they are all unloaded and eating supper. So why did we take the calves to the vet? What is Bang's disease and why do we give them a magnet? So I'll start with the magnet. Okay. Uh, so there is this thing, it's called a hardware disease, which basically just means that the cow has over time either picked up little bits of metal or a big piece of metal just on random places around the farm and uh, it can transmit through their digestive system and obviously cause a lot of trouble right so they started using magnets in the i think it's the first stomach yep the first stomach reticulum and, and then um, that can help you know attract anything so it doesn't move further down the system and it's just good um insurance cheap insurance we, so. do, we do take really good care to make sure, like when we're doing fencing projects and stuff, we don't inadvertently leave any scraps of wire or staples or anything like that. We're, we're very meticulous on that, but we don't know what was done before. 
and you know we buy feed and sometimes you find stuff in the bale that's not hay yeah. so you know it's just like Virginia said it's very cheap insurance and then uh, bangs vaccine also known as brucellosis is a disease that can cause cows to have abortions it's required in the state of Washington uh, that female cows get it between six months and a year no later than a year I believe and it has to be done by a vet that's why even though we give all our other vaccines ourselves it has to be done by a vet and that is probably the main reason we went to the vet today is because they had to do that and they have to have a special form film filled out and they get a tattoo in their ear showing that they've received the vaccine and it's a one-time thing they're good for life so going to the vet is always an exciting thing. Uh, we're lucky to have a large animal vet just six miles from our farm. Uh, there's many places in the United States that don't have large animal vets, or if they do have uh, large animal vets, maybe they specialize just in horses or whatnot. So we're very lucky that we have such a good vet close to us. And we always encourage others to have a good relationship with your vet because there are some mandatory things that you have to do through a vet or um, and then if you have an emergency, you know, you definitely want the vet to know who you are. Spud decided to join our video today. Spud came from the vet originally. That's where <laughs> we adopted him from. And he has been a good kitty. So, uh, I hope that you enjoyed coming along with us today um, on our journey to uh, the vet with our calves. Uh, I think we're almost ready to start calling them yearlings. They're big enough, I think, <laughs> to start calling them yearlings. They're, used, they're around eight months right now. But uh, they're definitely on their way. <laughs> Did you have anything else you wanted to add? Did you have anything you wanted to add, Mr. Spudman? No, I think he's good. <laughs> I'm good. We're all good. Okay, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on the Tom Rosa.